Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Plays Planet Coaster. We lost money last month, but uh, apart from that, our park is actually going pretty well, all things considered. Consider the fact that, sure, we, we lost $300 in profit, but we're spending like 2500 No, maybe... Uh, well, let's see, we're spending at least 2000 in research. Or sorry, we're spending, okay, we're spending 1500 in research and 1000 in marketing. So we are spending 2500 uh, per month. First off, we have a research project ready to be revealed. And this is the Anubis Coaster, which is going to unlock the blueprint that I made uh, earlier that I can finally place down, although it's going to be very expensive to do so. Achieve a monthly profit of from rides of $2,000 is our new challenge. Um, to be fair... My coaster does not have two inversions. That remains. How close are we to a park balance rating of 20? What the hell is a park balance rating? Is there any... In park management, can we see what goes into that? One second. Um, overview, I'm assuming. And then balance bonus. Look, I got no idea what affects that. Park statistics, maybe? That's probably something I should watch a tutorial video on. Um, people are relatively happy with our park right now. Uh, we're going to be spending... $1,000 less per month, at least in the interim period here, because we are not uh, going to be researching the Ultra Coaster, the Hyper Coaster, which was very expensive. So if you look at... Um, wait a minute, where's where's my blueprints? Oh, there we go. If you look at my blueprints, we can now build the Lunch Loser. Look at this. It's majestic. It's beautiful. It's a, a roller coaster the likes of which we've never seen before. We will get enough money to build this. It might take us a little while, but I promise you once this goes up, you know, this is a guaranteed paycheck for a couple grand per month. Not really knocking it out of the park financially right now, though. I gotta be honest with you. Um, maybe our marketing is not really working out uh, the way that I want it to. But we're, we're starting to build a, a park that actually functions. You know, look at that. Rides are making money. Everything's making money. Even Debt Crazy. Why is Debt Crazy making so little money? Does it take too long to ride it or something? Everybody's needs are taken care of. You know, they got energy. They got thirst. They got nausea. Maybe, maybe they'd benefit from having a little less nausea, but that's okay. Before we build our custom hyper coaster, we may want to build... Well, first off, we have another, um, uh, another research project coming due soon, right? Let me look. Research. Uh, yeah, in like eight days. So I really think that we should probably build that ride before we build um, a custom coaster. Simply because the custom coaster is going to be expensive. And we are starting to actually uh, lose money again. So I gotta, I gotta diagnose that. But for now, you know, we've got enough of a cushion now that we can afford to wait it out a little bit. Um, it's weird listening to the, to the song at what sounds like a slowed down speed, but is actually a normal speed. So let's just go here, and we're starting to be able to do like some more creative stuff. So there's a, a, a path opened up uh, for our new uh, our newfound area. We can have a queue for a ride, although it will be very long. Go over top of the coaster tracks. It'll benefit the ambience of this coaster, and it will also benefit the ambience of the queue for which it uh, goes to. But let's um, wait out our research project being done here. It's going to take four days, which you know uh, on speed three is like basically no time at all. But I do have to figure out um, why we're losing money. It's not construction, it's park management. Staff wages is expensive, marketing costs. Well, for losing 400 bucks, um, it seems like right now it's pretty much exclusively on marketing. Which we could see as an investment, but I don't know. Kickflip thrill ride. All right, I've never seen that before, actually. Um, we probably do want more research, but I really want to get this hyper coaster down first. So let's um, make the kickflip. I don't even know what this thing does. Wasn't it supposed to be family friendly? Oh, it's like a it's an inverted uh, Ferris wheel. Okay, cool. Um, well, just seeing if we could like place it in a cool location. Like that that looks kind of neat to me. Am I wrong? Does this look hideous? Just let me rotate my own camera. It's like, it's on, cop it's on top of the coaster track. I think that looks cool, dude. Okay, so we're going to put it up there. Even though, you know, from a support standpoint, it doesn't look like it, that should function uh, at all. Uh, and then, just put the... I guess we want the entrance at the end in the... Uh, yeah, we want the entrance at the end. 
and the exit here. Right. We can't put it there. We can move it slightly and put it. That is fine by me. You know, I'm not gonna... No skin off my scrout, of course. Um, probably should... Oh, we, we, oh, we can't quite reach the ground in time. So we're actually going to have to uh, loop our queue around a little bit here. Which is going to make it longer, but... Maybe we can do it like this. And do we want to... Oh, don't do that one, please. Do we want a priority pass for this one? I don't know if it's really uh, relevant, honestly. This ride may be popular, or it may be uh, not beloved at all. But I love it! Because we paid for it, dude. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's a long queue by our standards. It's also hideous, and I would say, honestly, my advice for that is get used to it. I expect to probably produce some, uh, some hideous pathing in this park. It's always a secondary concern of mine. But check it out, we got, um, more space here, so when people, oh, exit, you know, there's another area for, like, a possible food court or something like that. Um, okay, let's open it up. People hate the queue already, but... It, it should indeed be functioning. On pause. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, it looks kind of dope. And what do we want to do? Well, I mean... If possible, I'd like to make the Q scenery rating not zero. That seems, like, sensible to me. Keep in mind, every ride that we build is also going to... Um, is also going to minimize the amount of people who are like... I hate... Uh, that there's no scenery at this park. So I think that that is, uh, you know, valuable in and of itself. What am I doing here? That's a great question. This looks horrible. Is that supposed to be like a slice of cheese or something like that? I just, I, I want to make scenery, but the scenery's got to be like in the sky. Guess think multiple rides have long queue times. I'm no kidding. I agree with you. And you know, I let me put it this way: I resist the notion that that's uh, a bad thing for a theme park. Obviously, it would be awesome if all of your rides had you know the best queue times of all time. However, is that really realistic? When I go to Disney World, you know, you wait freaking three hours to go on a ride. That's just the way theme parks are. Although I guess I'd be more likely to go if they, uh, if it didn't take three hours, so, fair enough. Alright, that's... You know what? That ride is a little bit more intense than even I thought it was. It gets me every time. Are we, are we moving into the next day? How do we do financially this month? I put a single night in the sky here. It's got an 8% Q rating right now. We made minus $248. But we are spending money on marketing. So, like, if we really need to get our finances in order, that seems conceivable to me. So maybe before we build the hyper coaster, I will just make a very simple roller coaster with two inversions. And um, that way we can get that challenge done. And by getting that challenge done, we'll get an extra thousand dollars. Plus, we'll, in theory, at least have another roller coaster at the park, you know, doing good work for us. This is kind of like a dead end over here right now. So, I know I keep getting distracted and, and you know, having other things now. But, uh, I think that we should have a, uh, you know, another chief beef, maybe. And we'll just say that that's done. And we'll put another, not first aid situation, but another restroom over here. And you know what? You gotta use this restroom. You have to walk over to uh, the kickflip one, which right as the present moment has nobody in the queue, so that frightens me greatly. Um, and obviously, we can't just let it be called Chief B Fate. This is the um, oh, the strip loin strip mall. Okay, there you go. And now we just sit back and watch the money rolling. People actually are reasonably happy to be getting on the kickflip, so that's exciting news. And we could... This one actually has the potential for the priority pass to work. It is going to look hideous, but that's fine. It also seems like this, this queue goes pretty quick right now. It looks fast. Well, that's because nobody at the park has figured out that it exists yet. you got to walk to a freaking dead end to get in it. Um, look at that! Okay, we're, we're making great money this month. 
But we don't want to, in my opinion at least, we don't want to expand too fast. Let's go look at um, our ticket prices here. We didn't miss any sales last month. So I think we go up to, uh, we go up to five bucks. You know, just keep amping it up until we start missing sales. Leaving guest thoughts, 89% amazing, 11% there's good and bad things. So at least now, we're no longer suffering from like, people leave the park and they go, there's nothing to do here. Remember, this isn't city skylines, you know, even though our, our paths seem kind of messed up, it's not really our goal to um, maximize the efficiency of people getting from where they want to go to where they want to go. We want to maximize the time that they spend in the park. Um, do we have custom gift shops we can make? No, we need to research gift shops. So, I mean, we probably should. But I also want to throw down another coaster. And actually, the fact that we have... Uh, ooh, challenge complete. Balance rating? Or my, probably monthly profit. Okay, so now we have money. Let's knock out that other challenge. So we're going to build a, um, a custom coaster. It's got to have two inversions. And we can build... Uh, Oh, the American Arrow looks pretty dope. For adults and teens only? Well, wait, wait, let's look at our ride. Our, sorry, our, our guest breakdown. 33% teens, 36% adults, 31% families. So only like 67% of the people in our park or whatever, 69% of people in our park are going to be able to ride the American Arrow if we go to uh, coasters here. But it's cheap. For all ages, for all ages. Can Oh, but these cannot invert. Okay, so that's the problem. Can invert for all ages. Since we already have that, we're, we're going to make a teen and an adult focused roller coaster here. And we're going to build it out uh, in the same way that we built this one. So it's basically going to be stretching to like the end of the... Actually, you know what? It makes a lot more sense for it to go this way. And then we do have a decent amount of real estate for park expansion over here. Okay, so, but we do want it to be slightly further away so we have space to loop it back around. I mean, roller coasters, dude. They, uh... They need space. How much does another station cost us? Because, like, we can continue to extend this station. And although it's expensive, it has long, it has more cars. So we can fit more people on the ride, I think. Or we might have just spent $700 for no reason. You know what? Let's just roll with it by default right now. We're, we're still a little tight on money. All right, so we want inversions. I've learned a lot about building custom coasters. Let's save our park, though. This is going to be uh, Northern Lions Funhouse right there. Um, I've learned a lot about building coasters. You really want to avoid nausea. This is a chain lift, right? Yeah. Really want to avoid nausea, but you want it to be exciting. And it is quite expensive here. Like, even that is probably high enough, but let's go one more. And then start to bring it down. So like that. And then we can, like regular track is what we can build now. And it's actually extremely cheap. At least relative to the other stuff. So we're just going to have it go like down, 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 down. And then maybe like a little down there in case you were wondering. And then have it go inverted loop. Just a standard little vertical loop. That's definitely uninversion. Are we going to have enough money to fit? We're not going to have enough money to finish this dang old thing, dude. I thought 4,000 would be enough, but, but clearly not. We can maybe go into the black a little bit. And then just get like a banked turn if possible. I don't, I don't want to roll. I just want a banked turn. We could even slow it down a little bit with brakes, but brakes are very expensive. I don't know, that's that's probably even a little too much. Because, like, nausea is a, a serious concern. Insufficient funds. Okay, so, you know what? Um, actually demolish this whole thing. We're going to have to wait on it. We got 3000 bucks back. Is that what we spent? It might be. Let's on pause and let it go for a minute. Two. <coughs> it is expensive to build, uh, to build roller coasters in this game. But, you know, that's... Kind of the idea, once you start making money, the money should be coming in fairly ridiculously. So that, that's my hope, at least. So you know what? One roller coaster is fine for now. The park's only been open for like a year. You know, no theme park opens and it's like, by the way, we got a thousand roller coasters. Unless it's already, you know, funded by the dang old Six Flags empire. 
We are, uh, we're starting to lose money again here. We are still spending on marketing, so losing 30 bucks is not the end of the world. But, uh, we, we need to stay on top of that, especially if we want to expand. I do think we kind of wow. rolled... Uh, oh my god, we just got a Twitch subscription, despite the fact that I'm not even streaming right now. Um, but, uh... We got a little trash. And by a little trash, I actually mean, like, quite a lot of trash all over the place. And some vomit. Uh, you know what? That means that it's probably time to hire a second, uh... Janitor right now. Which is a good sign. It's a sign that we're, uh... You know, we're growing. Financially, I mean, we are we have consistently more money than we started with. Which I think is a great sign. Dead crazy breaking down, not necessarily a great sign. The queue's going fast for Kickflip 1. That should change as, like, this part of the park gets more, uh... Gets more attractions. Red floral bush. This item is locked. Um, let me look at loans for a second. We've actually almost paid off our remaining loans. And and could do so pretty easily. You know what? We save 150 bucks by paying off that loan right away. We save 400 bucks by paying off that loan right away. Good. Let's let's get out of debt. The fact that we're out of debt now means that we've saved about $600. That's not worth a ton, but that's three chief beefs, dude. So we might as well be debt free, and that also, as, as ridiculous as this sounds, might also open up the ability for us to get uh, a new loan that's a little bit more aggressive, but apparently not. Okay, well if we're not going to build another coaster immediately, let's start researching some more stuff. Um, at least, let, let's wait until today finishes, this month finishes, just so we can uh, see how our finances shook out this month. We started making a lot more money towards the end of it for sure, uh, yeah, we made 800 bucks there. And challenges are inversions and a park balance bonus of 20. Really, it should just go to the Planet Coaster subreddit or something. Nobody's riding the teacups. You know what? I don't necessarily blame you for not getting on Madrina's wild ride. Let's lower the cost of that to 450, maybe drive a little extra demand. All the other rides seem reasonably popular. I don't know why Kickflip, like, just people do not respect it, dude. Okay, uh, yeah, let's do some research. Park management, research, star research. Thrill ride, compressed air swinging into action. Well, I mean, you know what? We could probably use some gulpy. That's a, an energy drink, I think. We need a gift shop, so there you go. We're spending 400 bucks a month. That's nothing right now. Um, and let's get another thrill ride. Like, those rides, the, the pre-built ones, are easy enough to build, easy enough to accommodate into your park, and then, uh, not that expensive, and they start generating money like as soon as they're put down. Like this thing's making 300 bucks a month. It's not a ton, but once you get 12 of those rides, that's 3,600 bucks a month. You know, it's maybe half to one third of a roller coaster. So, if our goal is to start building some bitchin' ass coasters, we're starting to get there. I think at least. Guess think Spaghetti Island has a long queue. Well, maybe if you bought the priority pass, you wouldn't have to worry about that. Let's just ignore the fact that the priority pass does not even function right now. Um, Actually, you know what? We can make the priority pass function. We should start selling priority passes. If, if everybody's complaining about long queues, that seems like a great opportunity for us to take advantage of uh, a gap in the market, as it were. So, I'm just going to move this stuff out a little bit. And in particular, uh, this has to go. And by go, I mean, again, just you know, move out slightly. Okay. So we are going to enable the priority pass here. And then we got to start selling priority passes in the park. And we're only going to make the priority pass for, like, the primo rides that have long queue times. Which is almost everything right now. Um, so that's maintenance or operations? Operations. Enable priority pass. Okay. Priority pass entrance. Honestly, is going to be, like, here. And then we're going to move that... Uh... Well, we're going to lose a lot of money on this at first. But that's okay. Uh, we're going to move whatever of this stuff we have to move to get it out of the way. So, for example, like... This, get moved, son. Challenge available. That's what I like to see. They're no longer shooting at each other. I'm okay with that. I don't know how many priority passes we're going to sell. I don't think I've ever had anybody buy a priority pass in, in any of my parks. But the idea, you know, the concept of it is there. If you're complaining about queue times, instead of spending five bucks to enter the park, why don't you spend 20 bucks... And then you'll be able to ride the rides way more often. You know, it's a sad fact of uh, 
the capitalism of theme parks that it actually is a good purchase much of the time. If you're okay with getting involved in that degree of class warfare. So there you go. We have a priority pass now. And it's open. There you go. Start lining up. We lost a lot of money because people have to exit the ride because they, you know, it was temporarily down for testing. Um, then we go overview tickets priority pass information booths are required to sell priority pass tickets you know what i did not know that um so we are going to research information booths unless maybe we already have them available we do not okay so that's that's going to be something that we're going to work on for research and once priority pass tickets are available hopefully we'll be able to sell uh enough to start turning even more of a profit building better roller coasters and you know what you get the ownership here you get to finance your own roller coasters. Isn't that exciting? In some ways that I have not really considered. Um, okay, let's go look at the park. I had such a bad time, I'm getting a refund. 1%. Excuse me? Just because the queues are long? Welcome to a theme park, you stuck-up bitch. That's not a gendered insult. No matter if it was a man, woman, child, that person is a bitch as far as I'm concerned. Madrina's wild ride is broken down. This means financial ruin for us. It doesn't, actually. Um, if I look at park management, uh, I'm assuming that our most profitable ride, yeah, is indeed Spaghetti Island. I think I'm going to cancel my uh, my marketing. Just because that extra $1,000 a month can add up. Okay, Spaghetti Island is broken down. That means we are actually in hell. If this ride breaks down, the, the world is over. Uh, excuse me, you can't exit through the priority pass queue. That's for priority pass holders only. Okay, first research project is ready to be revealed. It's gulpy. We'll put some of those down just because they'll, you know, people will want it. We finally have a gift shop. And uh, we're almost at our next ride. Uh, let's just see. There, there, there's probably the ability to make new um, research projects now. So uh, maybe we can make uh, information booths. You know what? We've got to research facilities first. So we'll research ATMs. And, you, okay, it takes a month at $100 a month. I'm not going to raise the price just to get that done. And honestly, like, financially, the park's doing fine despite its most profitable ride being down. See, the Spaghetti Island has been fixed. Okay, for shops and facilities, we'll start making cool gift shops eventually, hopefully. But first, you know, we're still kind of just making our way uh, in the world today. It takes everything you got. I'm not going to change this one. It's already a pun. Hat's fantastic. I don't know why it needs a number on it, but that's okay. What are you selling? Crown, pirate hat, baseball cap, sci-fi helmet, cowboy hat, archer hat. I want to see everybody in this theme park wearing a hat. I'm seeing crowns getting sold. I'm seeing crowns getting sold. I'm seeing everybody loves the crowns. Look at this. It's making money hand over fist. Oh, guess think that crazy has a long queue time. No kidding. Maybe you should have bought a priority pass. Oh, priority passes aren't for sale yet. You know what? I didn't spend four years getting my Master of, of Roller Coasters at Harvard University just to have you tell me how to run my theme park, okay? Check it out. We got a gulpy energy now. We made 400 bucks despite our most profitable ride being broken. I think that that's reasonably good. Um... What do we what do we call gulpy energy? Well, instead of calling it gulpy energy, we got it's got to have something to do with energy. Let's call it monster. Let's call it nos. Well, that ends well. Not nos. Trodamus. There you go. Not a sponsor. Um, and we need some more garbage bins. Get ready for that to be like fully ten percent of the Planet Coaster videos is garbage can, garbage can. And honestly, like, I put down park benches. Nobody's using these dang park benches, dude. I guess they're not spending enough time in the park right now to be concerned about it. But, um, park benches, like, in the beta, as soon as you put it down, 500 people would try to sit on it. Now, uh, apparently they're not as interested. View research. Reveal research. What do we got now? Hammer swing thrill ride. And we also, we might as well just wait at this screen because we're about to get uh, ATMs as well. And we want to research information booths so we can start selling fast passes and this, thus neutralize. There we go, information booths. Uh, so we can neutralize the concern that people have uh, about um, 
uh, the concern that people have about uh, queue times being super long. Okay. So we just got a new ride. We should probably build it. And we'll just build it out like next to this queue so that there's still a path space you can walk around here if necessary. So uh, let's pause. This is... Hammer swing. Alright, this seems terrifying. I love it. We want to exit over here so that you're, you're immediately back in bathroom territory. And I'm hopeful that this will raise the Q rating of, uh, of Kickflip 1. And we'll just have you enter like... Excuse me? Okay, I mean that's fine. I'll have you enter over here. And exit over there. Um, I do want to connect the entrance to the path, but first I want to talk about kickflip one. Or excuse me, it's not hammer swing. This one's called kickflip one. It's no longer called kickflip. This is Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk's penthouse. You no longer ride kickflip one. You you take a little excursion to Tony Hawk's penthouse. What are we gonna do? We're gonna build a path out over here again just preparing for future expansion even though it's going to be expensive to do so in the moment then the queue is going to be like why is it one meter wide or two meters wide it should be it's looking a little on the ridiculous side there we can make it no we can't make it shorter that's as short as it gets okay no 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 no, no. you don't understand don't do it like that uh one second we just want the exit to exit like this. Right into the garbage cans in the bathroom and make the intersection look slightly askew just to bother people. It's not just to bother people, it's because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, and the queue is not going to be super long here because I, I, apparently, I don't know, I build the queues long and then people go, oh, the queue's too long. And then I, I don't build the queues long and people go, oh, the queue's not long enough. This is MC Hammer's... Uh, Jinko Jeans. MC Hammer's Jinko Jeans. Open for business. Sweet. Okay, so we've been focusing too much on making money and not enough on making dope-ass roller coasters. So we got some work to be done uh, in that front for now. But hopefully, like, the eastern side of our... Well, I guess it's technically the western side. It doesn't... I don't know what direction's north. The right side from this angle of our theme park now has, like reasons to go to it to be fair like this the only reason this thing has a long queue is because of the fact that i had to make a staircase for it and people are loving how fast that queue is so i'm okay with that all right park management overview Ooh, i stepped in sick okay so that's british for Somebody yacked all over the exit of some queue. Hopefully that's taken care of. You know, that's why we have two janitors now. We have a second bathroom set up. Hopefully that's going to get taken care of. Our money has gone up so quickly. People, guest happiness is pretty good. We still have not missed any sales, so I'm cranking up the price again. 7% said I had such a bad time I'm getting a refund. I'm guessing that's a result of, um, of stepping in vomit. Which, honestly, is pretty much perfectly fair. Debt crazy is broken down. That's fine. Recently, or previously, that would have been, like, a catastrophe. But because of the fact that we, uh, no longer have, you know, exclusively relying on debt crazy to, to fund our entire park, this is actually not that big of a deal at all. Alright, here's a real question for you. Um... Would you rather go to MC Hammer's Jinko jeans and be in his left or right pant leg? Or would you rather be on uh, Tony Hawk's penthouse? I think I'd rather be in the right leg of MC Hammer's Jinko jeans, but that might be just personal preference. Make sure to tweet me hashtag Jinko jeans if that's... <laughs> if you're a Jinko jeans uh, person, and if you're a Tony Hawk person, just tweet me hashtag kickflip. That's all I ask. Alright, before we finish, that was my timer. Um, we're going to put down some information booths. Yeah, I always thought, like, the best idea is to put it down with a garbage can and a bench, like, right in the middle of the path. Uh, but no, in actuality, I want to place this down close to the park entrance. 
right, oh, sorry, Ponderosa Pine. I want to place one down right next to the park entrance. So it's like, hey, you want to buy a fast pass? Sorry, a priority pass. Fast pass is a branded term of the Six Flags Corporation. Um, we'll do that. And we're going to call this uh, Class Warfare Armory. This is where you buy your uh, your priority passes, which basically at this point just lets you ride the Spaghetti Island faster. Um, and to be honest with you, we got a thousand people in this park. We could probably get away with another one, and we'll just we'll just put this one like right here. And this one is like, you know, sorry, rich folks only. No, wait, 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 wait. Inspiring familial envy. There you go. Ten bucks for a priority pass. What should we do about this? Because I'm an idiot, there's still no way... Like, you can't really take the priority pass on Hammer Town here. So instead, what you gotta do is go like, Okay, we're gonna enable the priority pass on a bunch of rides that actually, you know, can function. And then, the idea is that we'll just make it... We're pretty much gonna make, like, an offer you can't refuse. You're gonna want to have a priority pass. Because it's going to, uh... It's going to be readily available on like a bunch of rides. So now, you know, it used to be free and the priority pass was going to be 10 bucks. Now it's like 10 bucks. Oh, that's so hideous. Now it's like 10 bucks to get into the park. And uh, we have priority passes uh, for sale as well. But you know what? Sign of the times, boys. Sign of the times. Put a priority pass there. And you don't you don't get to skip much of Madrina's wild ride queue, but that's okay. So I want to just like let this percolate out for a while and see how many uh, see how many fast passes we manage to sell. Again, if you're not queuing that long to go on Madrina's wild ride, I don't blame you. Uh, however, you know you should think about it from. Perspective for another 10 bucks. Think about how much more efficiently you could ride these rides. It's simple economics. Don't you value your time? It's not just that the line is shorter, because it's, it's really not. It's that you get to skip ahead of people in line as well. And that's the real... Uh, excuse me, why is this called Wild Blue? Yeah. It's that you get to skip ahead of people. That's the real money maker. So we made 700 bucks. Our park... Honestly, number of guests has diminished. Have we finally put ticket prices too high? Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's just, you know, demands different now. Priority passes are 10 bucks. Families get in for free, which makes no sense, but sure. Um, you making any money? Priority passes are for suckers. The, this priority pass isn't worth that much to me. All right, I mean, that's valuable information, you know? So what we do is instead of paying someone to sit in there for free, we just lower the cost of priority passes to, like, five bucks... And then see how things change. So now it's only like 50%, right, well, like 67% of park entry to get a priority pass. Priority passes are for suckers. Priority passes are for suckers. I'm telling you, they're gonna sell. <gasps> we have people in the priority pass queue. Look at, they just bought a priority pass, dude. Watch, watch. Yes! And they bought a hat. You are my favorite of all the guests at this theme park. Wait, that's not a hat. That's just your hair. But that's fucking cool, dude. You still got mad respect for me. So you can also change if you really want to, like, completely crap on all the, you know, low-income families that come to your park to give their kids a memory they'll never forget. You theoretically can, can change the priority pass, uh... Priority, as ridiculous as that sounds. You can make it so that, you know, everybody in this queue gets in before anybody in that queue. If there's one person here, they get in first. Or you could split it up 50-50, which is what we're going to do because I don't want to, you know, be taken as if I'm a, a, an absolutely horrible person here. So, how are priority passes doing? Well, I don't know. To me, it looks like we're making a lot of money right now. This priority pass seems really cheap to me. I'm telling you, we're doing it. Tony Ox penthouse is broken down. We gotta... Oh my... This, people are throwing up like crazy when they got off of MC Hammer's hammer pants. Sorry, Jinko jeans. 
That's disgusting, dude. We can't have people going on this ride throwing up at the exit. We made... That's like our most profitable month ever. Our park rating. Did it go down by 80? <laughs> Seems bad. Look at that. All these people are like stepping in vomit. And then they're like, I'm going to vomit too. Yo, janitor. Go clean this vomit up, dude. Here he comes. Yeah, I mean, there is vomit there. I guess I can't deny that. So you got to take care of that. Yeah, sure. You got you to handle the trash bin. Excuse me. Can I move you? I can move you. Look at this. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I don't want to micromanage you to do this, but... You know, it's no, it's my own inefficiency that led to this happening in the first place, I'm sure, but... Please don't throw up. Please don't throw up. Honestly, she looked like she might yak, but, uh... That's okay. You fixing this? Is it fixed now? Dude, we gotta fix the queue for Tony Hawk's... Stupid ride here. People gotta walk for 10 miles to get into it. Alright, I'm hopeful on the next episode we're actually gonna be able to build a, uh... A roller coaster. Um, we, we've been building a lot of stuff and we've been spending a lot of money on research, which is great, but we, we really definitely could uh, stand to get more roller coasters in here. We've really only got Spaghetti Island and the queue for that is ridiculous. Now that we've got priority passes working, you know, that's hopefully like a pretty sweet money-making endeavor for us. Um, people are buying priority passes. A little. A little. Yeah, that's fine by me. Even if it costs us a little money to offer the priority passes, as long as it alleviates queue concerns for the people who buy them, maybe that's okay by me. I don't fully understand how the systems interact. But for now, um, Northern Lions Funhouse is kind of popping off here. I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you guys so much for the support in the series so far. New episodes coming out every single day, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, if you're enjoying the series. No need to refresh the channel. Just be here every single day when those episodes come out. And uh, again, thanks for watching. Click the like button if you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you next time.